Hey everybody, welcome to another installment of Cooking with Brad. So I had some leftover carrots from my last shopping trip, and I had a container of Kaigun curry seasoning from my last trip to Yokosuka. And uh, this evening I found some chicken sasami, which is very tender white meat chicken, and thought that might be a good combination. A little bit of chicken, some carrots, and some Yokosuka Kaigun curry seasoning. So um, let's see what we got. So here are my carrots with my knife and my peeler. My carrots are now officially chopped and ready to be put in. Here's our chicken sasami. I just need to chop this up a little bit too. My chicken sasami is all cut into pieces. Let's get a little butter melted in my stew pot. I don't really like cooking with oil. I've always preferred cooking with butter. So we just need to get this butter a little bit melted and we can put in our chicken and carrots. There's our chicken added to the pot. Let's go ahead and put in the uh, kaigun curry seasoning. So this is Yokosuka Kaigun Curry Seasoning that I picked up the last time I visited Yokosuka. Uh, we're gonna put in a liberal amount on top of this chicken here. Give it a nice curry seasoning flavor. All right, I've put in plenty to cover up the chicken here. We just need to uh, cook this chicken a little bit and then we'll toss in the carrots. Let's check in on the chicken here. Oh, wow, that looks good. Smells suitably curry-like. All right, we'll give it a little bit longer before adding the carrots. I think that's done enough. Let's go ahead and add the carrots. Oh. We also put in just a little bit more butter. And finally, some more kaigun curry seasoning. All right, it's time to mix everything up and let it cook. And for good measure, I added a little bit more butter. All right, let's check our progress so far. Oh, check that out. It looks and smells really good. Nice scent of curry coming from that. And those carrots are softening right up. I'll give it a little bit longer, I think. I think it's time for a little taste test of this. And we got a little bit of chicken and some carrot. Let's see what we got here. Mm hmm. Hmm. You know what? That's good. But I think it needs a little salt. So. Let's toss in some sea salt, see if that's any better. All right, I put in some sea salt. Let's see if that tastes any better. Hmm. Yeah, I think that helped a lot. On second thought, I think we need a little bit more of the kaigun curry seasoning too. And it's all done. We've got nice soft carrots, some chicken, and plenty of seasoning. Let's give it a try, see how it tastes. All right, so. Give myself a spoonful here with some carrots and some chicken and some seasoning. Let's see how it tastes. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. That's not bad at all. Um, it definitely has a, a different kind of a curry flavor. Like if you buy curry seasoning or something like that, it's going to definitely have more of a sort of a traditional curry taste. Um, this one is, um, like it's much more of a, I guess, Yokosuka style curry flavor. Uh, I'm not that well versed in uh, the different curries, but yeah, it's um, it's not too bad actually. Anyway, between the chicken and the carrots, I feel like it's probably pretty healthy, and I've got plenty of it. So even after having a little bit for dinner, um, I got plenty I can put away in the fridge and have later on this week. Anyway, I appreciate you guys uh, checking in with me, and uh, we will see you in the next installment.